What is going on? My reefing fam, March here, Fragbox TV, and right now we are in Dallas, Texas, and that's saying um, everything is bigger in Texas. It is absolutely true. I've been here for two days, and that is totally, totally my experience, and that same idea applies to fish stores. We're gonna go into fish gallery in a second. We're gonna do a little video walkthrough tour. It's mostly fresh water, but I wanna cover it because it's just, it's massive, and this is the way you execute a fish store properly. Check out even this, right when you walk in, the pond outside. It's just, uh, it's a masterpiece of a store. I'm really excited to show you guys what's up. Look, look at how I'm working for you guys. On my way to the airport, and I stop here. Amazing, amazing, amazing store. It's, uh, it's unlike any other store I've ever been to in terms of size, cleanliness I don't know where to start maybe we'll we'll get someone to kind of give us the tour and then uh, we'll go from there just because for fun, for fun. why not you're gonna like set up kind of like, oh. you walk in and there's a man-made just enormous beautiful piece of art this tree that just like encases the whole store it's pretty cool it's it's really unusual everything about the store is unusual um, but really, really neat. It looks like they have some koi over here. Check out the thickness of this acrylic. They were telling me that, uh, I'm gonna get over to in a second, but there's like a massive 5,000 gallon tank over there. And these are actually the off cuts when they made that tank. It's a single piece, 16 foot piece of acrylic. And so they had these nice big off cuts when they were making the tank. And instead of throwing them out, very clever, they turned into this. Look, there's grass, there's turf. I love the, the architecture, the plumbing, the lighting. It's super, super clean. Like you guys know that I'm not in freshwater, but today's video is just more appreciating um, how nice the store is, the execution. Look at this waterfall hanging out. Oh, this is so cool. I guess you can go inside here. Oh, let's go inside. Oh, we're in the bubble. Really, really neat. Um, very creative. This is the Dallas location and I believe they have two other ones and they were telling me, the owner was telling me they're gonna to start to open up sort of smaller ones. They're gonna be called like art gallery, uh, fish gallery, sorry, it should be called an art gallery. That's what it feels like in here, but fish gallery express. So kind of like smaller locations to fill in the gaps. This tank is just something else. The salt water side of me wants to see it filled up with corals and stuff like that, but I can still appreciate it. It's absolutely pristine. Like, I guess they clean it every day. The, the acrylic on the front, it doesn't even look like it's there. It looks like the fish are floating. Hello, little fishy. Different sort of scape than what we see in, in the saltwater world, but really fantastic tank. And I love this. You're like, let's take a seat. Let's check it out. This is nice. When I first opened up Fragbox, I wanted to have a, a large tank in the front and a sofa, but the store is small. I just don't have the room. Everything really is bigger in Texas. And there's so many nice big tanks on display. Beautiful tanks. Massive. Like, these are normal size. I think people here just have more space. And then that just translates in, into having um, a larger aquarium. Tideline, these are actually made here in Texas by, uh, by an American company. Same with the stands, really nice tanks, very clean lines, all in one. I love the way the products are laid out. Everything, this really, really makes the OCD side of me happy just to see perfect rows of, of products laid out thoughtfully by brand. Um, some stores just kind of throw stuff at the wall without really any care or thought. Everything is, is, this is, if you're watching this and you've ever thought about opening up a fish store, or, or something related to this presentation is so so important you want the store to be inviting um, it smells nice in here it's very very clean there's no buckets lying around there's no there's no nothing it's it's exactly the way you're supposed to execute a store like this they've done a really phenom phenomenal job and lot I wish I had room like this they have so many different tanks so that you can kind of get an idea and a vision you know if you want to bring home an aquarium there's there's every size if you're looking for um, a little pico like this I'm gonna show you in a second they have a really nice pico tank set up on the desk there but if you're looking for a three gallon a five gallon or you want to take home a 500 gallon it's all here this is really cool idea I love this sort of bagging wet station idea we have a sink in the store we're so so tight on space um, and we have to use every square inch that we have it's only like I think the store is like a thousand square feet. I'll measure it when I get back to Toronto, but this is really nice to have a sink here. I was actually here, they had a uh, party after Aquashella, so it was a very different vibe. Um, the lights were off, the music was blasting, that was a bar, outside was barbecue. It was a lot of fun. They, they hosted a really cool party, nice size freezer. And I'm gonna show you one thing I absolutely, absolutely love. Look at these stands, what they've done with them. I'll go over to the saltwater section because this is a saltwater channel, but the stands are actually made from metal and they are floating. So check this out. Isn't that cool? I've never seen anything like that. Super, super heavy duty metal here. And then I'll just show you what the bottom looks like. 
They've actually have the plumbing gone right down through the floor, through the concrete. I'm not sure where the sumps for these tanks are, but they they were explaining to me what they did was the, the stores got four or five million dollars. They built it like a, just for this. The store was built top to bottom. Those are the offices up there. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, there's just a lot going on in here, but the store was built just for this. So they laid the concrete, then cut it, then ran the pipes, and then put concrete over it, and then tile. It's, it's really unusual. I've never seen anyone do it, but then you get this super clean aesthetics. The tanks are just perfect. They're not overcrowded. There's obviously no dead fish. The sand is clean. It's, re it's really, really, really clean in here, and everything is laid out um, nicely with prices. The fish look really healthy. The water's clear. You can maybe they're using somewhere else some sort of medication, but in here, uh, it doesn't look like it. They do have a very um, for me, it's a small selection because we're primarily saltwater. They have a nice little Red Sea Reefer 250 set up here. That's the same one that we have in the store, our softy dominated one. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. Check out some of the other videos. Uh, I forgot to say hi. These clownfish are pretty cool. That's a very nice bubble tip of enemy. And then small selection of corals. Not not too much. Freshwater really is is their main gig here. That is a very nice fish. Oh, I didn't see you the other night. I was a little bit drunk. Hello, fishy. But the stuff that they do have, large pieces, they look healthy. These would probably look like they were traded in from a customer, kind of like that, uh, let's say, Hollywood Stunner Chalice. It looks like it was probably brought in. Same, I would say the same with that leather. Same with those mushrooms. These are probably corals from somebody's tank that have grown really, really well. And then uh, they came and brought them in. This is also some more Chalice. They are using my favorite, one of my favorite lights. It looks like the Hydra 32 HDs to light up. Look at this, how overgrown these OOs are. Just completely took over a crate. That's the cool thing about Zoas. They'll grow on just about any surface that uh, that they can get out. All selection, cleanup crew, and again, it's floating, floating. I really love the way they use um, the metal stands. And then underneath here, they got this exposed sump. The only thing I'm gonna make one little itty bitty comment. You go through all this hard work to get them floating, and the aesthetics are great. I would have just covered this right here with a piece of white acrylic, maybe on some magnets or something just to kind of hide the plumbing because you know you like you've done all this all this work and thought and effort has gone into it and then what is that you have that exposed that that really bothers me that's the uh, i, I would have covered it up even on the bottoms i would have just put something to cover it up and i would get the power bar over there definitely off the floor just maybe that that one little final touch that's just me nitpicking um other than that the store is just phenomenal fans very important you want the air to move around that's something we're missing in the store you want to have some good air movement upstairs is the office which doubles as the hookah smoking lounge uh, the other night we had a lot of fun up there and what else can i tell you guys i'm going to show you a little bit of this pico tank they have at the front and then we'll wrap it up i really like this idea man it makes me want to get a bigger store have more space they have set up right here at the front door you got your fresh your ro your salt water it's really really clever and then this nice little tray here so that you can i guess bring your bucket oh i like this look at that it's like on a hose it's got a gun on the end that's really cool very clever the way they've laid it out and then small selection of hardware they have a radion some primes it's a little bit different than us we have you know 20 radions on hand at all time but it is primarily a uh, freshwater store some skimmers some tanks but i really like this check out this pico tank this is from uh, lifeguard aquatics they make this little all-in-one i think it's 3.8 gallons four gallons we've had one in the store before check out the size of these sexy shrimp i think those are the biggest ones i have ever seen just enormous this one is hosting the rock flower underneath here and then they got some nice some nice soas growing across the top and this is really cool too it looks like a purple stylophora could be it's very healthy they probably water change this thing often it doesn't look like there's any fish running a little ai prime nice united states of america cool little tank okay i think that's it we're gonna wrap up today's video i really appreciate you guys watching uh, i'm off to the airports and gonna be back for a couple days and then heading out to california we're gonna go cover reef of palooza oh hello look at this sidetrack you want to ship inside your tank we're going to cover reef of palooza anaheim this was a, a really really nice trip kind of like last second not really planned this tank is just incredible i would not want to clean it oh hold on i'm going to show you one more one more and then we'll wrap it up you don't see this often anymore check out this one it's a tank but inside a picture frame isn't that cool i like that and this is their lunchroom look how much space they have staff frag box staff if you're watching one day we'll get here one day they have a full kitchen Look, in the beach, really, really nice store. Really happy to have been here. I'm really happy that you guys watch it. We'll see you guys back here soon. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV. Oh my God, look at this turtle. It's a turtle.